Good morning, what? Um, no, not many of you are up, not just watching this, but thinking we're getting involved in this. Uh, okay, and some of the last messages I suffered today. Uh, we're going to take a nice, easy uh, approach on this one. Let me just do some uh, warm ups and some. Um, um, we're just going to make it easier for. Uh, for those people who have uh, found someone very difficult, so we can alt alternate. Okay, so anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Andrew John Teague, um, the founder of Dad's, uh, co founder of NAP, uh, working to get people fit uh, and healthy, get their minds healthy, um, and hope you enjoy. Um, okay, okay, it's on your feet. First of all, we're going to warm up. Uh, if anybody needs any water or anything, please feel free to go and get water. Do hydrate. Do breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, and okay. So first of all, we're going to warm up. So with your arms out. Uh, circle of motions with your arms forward. As far forward as you can. Big circles. Don't worry if you can feel your shoulders crunching, it just means it's working good. Or old age, <laughs> one of the two. And back. As far back as you possibly can. Big circles. Okay. Uh, also, keep reminding people. Very important as well to uh, warm up, uh, to re relax your neck as well. So first of all, we're going to look to the left. Hold it for a second or two. To the right. Turn the look behind you. To the left. To the right, back to the front and forward, and back, forward, and back. Okay, forward, your hands on your hips, what we're going to do is uh, rotate our hips, uh, feel free to rotate whichever way you want, feel comfortable first, then we're going to go the opposite way, okay, so uh, I'm going to rotate uh, in a clockwise motion, moving your hips as far around as you possibly can. And back the other way. Okay. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to do some squats. So our feet shoulder width apart. Feeling comfortable. Remember those of you who have, uh, who have watched this. This is not a squat, squat, this is just leaning forward and doing nothing. A squat is back straight, shoulders, chest out, head forward, and sitting down in this position. Okay, so we're going to do some squats, we're going to do 15 squats on my count. So when you're ready, okay, shoulder width apart, and ready. And 15 on my count. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 
15 and relax okay don't remember to keep make sure you got water handy or run off and go and get some uh, and make sure you hydrate there we go okay we're gonna do some simple uh, leg stretching exercises um so for those of you who are only difficult with these put your feet back as far far as you feel comfortable um, if you're in your shoulder width or whatever else, we're going to just put our hands down in front of us in this position here. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the side to show you. Legs as far apart as you possibly can and feel comfortable. Then put your hands forward. If anyone can see this here, what we're going to do then is drop our elbows down to the floor here. And then back up. Okay. <coughs> so, legs apart. Feel as possibly as comfortable as you possibly can. There we are. Okay, hands forward. If you feel comfortable, on my count for 10, we're going to drop our elbows down. Are you ready? On my count and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then back up. Still keeping your legs apart. What we're going to do as well here again is we're going to drop our hands down to the floor or as far, to the, as far down as you possibly can. We're going to throw through and then lean back. Okay. So I'm um, going to do this for five on my count. So when you're ready, feet apart where you feel comfortable. Uh, hands down, one, throw through. And back. And two. Hands down. Throw through. And back. And three. And through. And back. And four. Throw through. And back. And five. Throw through. And back. Okay. Well, basically doing these exercises today, uh, we're not doing them too vigorously. We're slowing them down a bit uh, for people out there that have uh, had a bit of difficulty with them. But uh, feel free, you know, if you can only do three, that's fine. If you can only do seven, if we're doing 15 or whatever, that's fine. Just go at your pace and then the next time try and gradually build it up. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do some leg stretching. So I'm going to do this on the side to show you. Uh, the both movements so you can see what, what I'm doing. The first one is this uh, with my right leg forward and my left leg back. I'm bending my knee and sitting down straight into it in this position here. Stretch your legs as far as you part as you possibly can and you feel comfortable. Uh, don't overstretch your legs and then come down into this position here. And from that position, when we do the next ones, we're going to come down into this position here. Okay. So, okay. First of all, we're going to do the right leg, and then we'll do the left leg. Uh, so, okay. Thank you. What? Right leg forward. Bending your knee. So you're aiming forward and sitting down with your back straight. Um, okay. And down. And you should start to feel this pulling. Um, and just relax there. Or just for a few seconds. Then up. And down onto the other side. Okay. And then we're going to do this again. Uh, forward and back and 
Okay. Change legs. If you notice what I'm doing is I'm switching from this position here. So I'm almost going on to tiptoes when I'm there. Onto my heel back this way and bending this leg. Okay. So left leg forward this time. Legs apart. Where really you feel comfortable. And drop down into it. Keep your back straight and sit down into it. Into this position here. Okay. Here we go. And back. And forward. And back. Okay. Staying on your feet. Some of you may have a bit of difficulty with one of the kicks. So we're just going to put one in today, I'll bring the other one back in uh, on Thursday, so we're just going to do one here for today. Okay, shake your legs off, run your arms, no wishes yet to come but we won't do it too difficult for you. Okay, okay, right. So what we're going to do is a front snap kick. Uh, so we're not going to pivot or anything, we're just going to come straight through. So actually what we'll do is a front snap kick off both legs. We'll do the front leg, back leg first. Then we'll do it off the fr front leg, forward leg. Uh, seeing as we're leaving the other one out, okay? So right leg back, left leg forward. What we're doing is coming in, chambering our legs. Remember if any of you have been watching this. We chamber our legs first. So we come in here, chamber, snap out, and back. For those of you who might not have your balance ready or anything yet, if you kick forward and step forward, it's okay, and then come back. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we'll do five uh, front snap kicks off the right, rear leg, and then we'll do five off the front, so we're still chambering and then we're back down, okay? So from the front leg as well, so we'll go straight into them then. Still here in this position. With this leg, we're driving through, chambering and kicking. With the front leg, we're literally just leaning back into it, snapping and back down, okay? So remember, this is not what we're looking for. This is not what we're looking for. We're looking to chamber that leg and get the hip into it. Okay, so from the right leg, five of each on my count. So chamber, okay. Now it's important to chamber first, then kick out. So here we go. And chamber, kick, back one. Chamber, kick, back two. Chamber, kick, back three. Chamber, kick, back four. Chamber, kick, and back five. Okay, so remember staying in a stance, not changing anything at the moment. We'll do that in a minute. We're going off the front leg this time, so we're leaning back. Okay, not leaning back, but we're just raising back. Okay, so front snap kick off the leading leg. So are you ready? Still chambering. And chamber, one, and back. Chamber two, kick him back. Chamber three, kick him back. Chamber four, kick him back. Chamber five, kick and back. Okay, and change legs. This time we're coming through with the rear leg first and then we'll go off the leading leg. So this time your left leg should be back, your right leg should be forward. Okay, after on my count and chamber. Right, okay, on my count. Chamber, kick, and back one. Chamber, kick, back two. Chamber, kick, back three. Chamber, kick, back four. Chamber, kick, 
back five. Okay, leading leg, same again. Switch your balance onto your back leg, chamber in, front snap, and back down in, in front. So, and chamber, kick, one. Ch uh, sorry, chamber, kick, two. Chamber, kick, three. Chamber, kick, four. Chamber, kick, and uh, five. Okay, if anybody needs to have a drink, please make sure you go and get a drink now. And you're ready. Okie dokie. Now we're going to do some press ups now. Uh, I'm mean, not going to change the press ups. They're still going to be outside wide, but if you can't do them and if you want to stay in the front and shoulder width position, you can do them all there. Uh, you can do as many as you can. We're going to be doing 30 press ups all together. Uh, we're going to do 10 out wide for those of you that uh, can do them. We're going to do 10 shoulder width and then we're going to do 10 diamond. Um, and today, this morning, uh, if I get a bit of time, uh, let's see if I can do a couple of Russian press ups at the end three. So you can get a gist of what a Russian press up is about. Anyway, for the most, some of you may already know what they are. For the moment, um, make sure you're breathing properly in through your nose, out through your mouth. Make sure you get your posture right. If you do feel uh, tired and strained, then I would suggest uh, kneeling position with your arms up and breathe so you're opening that chest up if your arms are up you're opening your chest up and breathe okay so get ready thank you i would shake your hands before and i'd probably shake your hands after we're gonna do um today we're just gonna do plank we're not gonna do um half press of position we'll do that thursday because people are uh some of you are finding it difficult but Feel free if you want to do um, half press it instead of plank, but we'll do a uh, plank today. Remember, uh, before we get into press ups, any ladies out there or anybody who feels that they can struggle with the press ups, then feel free to cross your legs, put your knees down on the floor, put your hands forward, shoulder width, and you can do your press ups from here. Okay, that will make life easier for you. Um, plank is Hands and elbows down on the floor, feet out on your toes, put your butt cheeks in and you're trying to push your hips into the floor and hold that. Half press up position is obviously, here's your press up, that's where you've gone down, half press up is halfway, okay? Thank you very much everyone, <sighs> sorry about that. So, here we go then, we're going to do 10 of each, 10 out wide, 10 shoulder width, 10 diamond, but please... If you don't think you can do um, out wide shoulder width everything else, you can keep them to normal pressure. You can do them on your knees. Don't strain yourself or anything else. Work into this. Um, if you only do five, there's no shame in stopping. You can do six or seven the next time. If you can only do two, you can do three or four the next time. So where you're starting uh, from, from your training exercises, uh, get your body fit, get your mind fit. Uh, getting yourself healthy, um, something different to do, and ladies and gentlemen, in bed or wherever else, uh, get up and do something. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, get ready then for shoulder, shoulder, uh, arms out wide, uh, and we're gonna do uh, ten out wide, ten shoulder width, and ten diamond on my count. Okay, are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shoulder width. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Easy. Shake your arms loose because we're going to do a plank or half press of position. So, I'm going to try for a minute, but don't remember. If you can't do it for a minute, it's fine. It's no problem. As long as you can. If you can hold it as long as you can, if you start to feel the pain, try to embrace it. It's just another feeling. Uh, take your mind somewhere else and try and focus on something. Take your mind away from the pain. Okay. So we're going to go down for half press up or plank. What I'm going to do this time is uh, I'm going to do plank. So, because people have said that they've uh, been a bit too much from. So, plank, remember, you can go off your knees. Same with half press, a position. Cross your legs on the back, knees on the floor, and do them from there. Okay, so and plank or half press up. Hands out front, elbows down. Uh, and get ready, steady, in position, and go. And hold it. Try to keep your your butt cheeks in and try to push your hips down to the floor without touching the floor. We've done over 30 seconds, so hold it. All you brave souls, if there's anybody out there doing half press up, if you feel it's starting to shake, go down into plank. Don't go down on the floor if you can help it. Or back down if you can help it. We've got 10 seconds left coming up. 10 seconds. Five. Well, five now. And relax. Okay. Right, what we're going to do now is set ups. If you can find somewhere to anchor your legs, uh, whether it's uh, on a sofa, on a chair, or somewhere, or on a unit like at the back here, uh, the set ups we're going to do, we're not going to go down to the floor, we're going to stop. Uh, we're going to come up to sit up and then back down and stop without touching the floor. Uh, I'm going to do them for 15. If you can only manage 5, it's fine. If you can only manage 10, that's fine. I'm not trying to kill everybody, each other, beer. This is basically what we're going to do. Okay. So I get feet in, knees bent. Okay. I'm going to go down from this position, back up, and that will be 1. So that's the position that we're looking for. We're working that core. Okay. Don't quit the knees stomach, of course. And back up. Yeah. So we're going to do that for 15. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, take your time. If you can only do 10, it's fine. If you can only do 5, that's fine. Try and do some more next time. Don't push yourself. We're working on this. We want to get you healthy uh, and fit, but we want to make sure you. Still alive to be out there to do it, okay? Um, I'm 54 next month, um, and I'm here doing it, and I'm training for over 18 months. So, anyway, here we go. Knees bent, uh, you can put your hands in front of you, you can put your hands in the back of your head, um, you can put them in the fridge, just kidding, all uh, right, okay, uh, and press ups, your sit ups, here we go. For 15 and down, up and one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Uh, as we do an easy one today, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go back onto our feet. Uh, we're going to do horse stance, keep dash, or um, squ uh, squat position, uh, and hold that for, um, I think we'll make life easier if we st still keep it at a minute. So, okay, on to your feet then. Shake yourself off for a couple of seconds. And get ready. Remember, uh, just like the squats, this time we're going to sit down and hold it there. Where you feel comfortable doing it, okay? Right, so feet shoulder width apart. Or where you feel comfortable. Back straight, chest out, head up, and sit down. Remember, we're not looking for this. That's no good. We're looking for sitting down into it here. Okay, posture. All right. Remember, back straight, chest out, face forward. Here we go, then. And I say, and... Down in squat position and hold it there. And if you start to feel the pain, just go through it, check yourself off. Many of you have seen my walks, will remember me telling you about I'm going to shut off the pain. Shut your bottom half off. Uh, you know, that's where we're at. We're coming up to it. All right. We've got another hour to go. Just kidding. We've got 45 seconds. We've got 15 seconds left to go. And 10 seconds. Hold it. Almost there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And relax, okay? And kick them legs out. Here we are. Just to finish off, uh, and then we'll have a little cool down. I think all we're going to do is some uppercut punches. We're going to do as many as we can for uh, 10 seconds. Um, and then we'll leave it off there. For today and just cool down okay so okay hands out uppercut here okay so you're punching up shoulders and your hips so there with your hip there with your hip and with your shoulders okay so when, when i'm right when you're ready just do as many as you can for 10 seconds and ready and Go. <laughs> and relax. Here we are. This is over. Now we're just going to cool down. So, okay. Lay down on your bellies, your hands where your shoulders are, feet down, flatten the floor with your toes pointing away from you, and raise yourself up, and look at the ceiling behind you, 
and down. And up. Try to look at the ceiling behind you. And down. One more. And up. And down. Okay. Swing around the other way now. Onto your back or just roll over onto your back. Lie down. Hands up over the top of your head on the floor. Relax. Breathe in through your mouth, nose. And out through your mouth. And relax. Cool down, relax. Don't fall asleep. We're not going to be able to count if you're still there in an hour. Okay, thank you everybody, um, again I'll be here Thursday, so Sunday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, up 6 in the morning is the best time for training, uh, so please if you can get up and you want to get involved in it, uh, that's great, if you just want to watch it later on and do it, that's fine as well, alright, thank you all.